So, uh, Casca, what, what happened there? Anthony offered two to the crown. Did he take it? He refused it, but you could tell he wanted it. How many times did he offer it? Three times, but he refused all three. What did, what did the people in the crowd do? Oh, that they were excited. They were cheering for him. Huh. Brutus is noble, but I hope he can be tempted and swayed. Tonight I'll forge letters from Roman citizens and put them in his window. Hey, Sister Rue. Casca, what brings you here? I've seen many terrible things in here. The weather out there is awful. I wonder if the gods are trying to kill us. I saw a man, his hands were on fire, but his flesh wasn't burning. And I saw an owl in the marketplace during the day. And there was a lion walking down the street. He just walked on and ignored me. Will Caesar be at the Capitol tomorrow? He will. I'm gonna leave. The weather is not good to be out at this time. Cassius, why are you out here? It's dangerous. Oh, it's lovely. The gods are finally showing us how evil is. A sign, I tell you, a sign. The Senate plans on making Caesar king tomorrow. If the gods can make Caesar so powerful a man, then the gods can give me power to kill him. Others are with us, too. Senna, I want you to throw these notes into Brutus's yard. I forced them from Roman citizens. These three fours convert into our plan, but that should push him the rest of the way. If Brutus joins us, there's no stopping us. Caesar must die. He must be taken out. How to get Caesar. Brutus, I found these in your yard for us. Ah. We've got to take out Caesar. He must be taken out. Casca. Cassius. Senna. Brutus, I'd like to talk to you. Nohara. So, I need to know. Are you with us 100%? Yes. Caesar must be stopped. Yes. Alright, let's go back. I think we should swear an oath. I don't think so. Our cause should be strong enough to keep us together. I'd say we bring Cicero into this. He won't follow any orders. I don't think so. What about Ant? Shouldn't we kill him as well? It would make us too bloody. We don't want to look bad in public. We must only stand against the spirit of Caesar. I wish there were a way that we could ruin him without killing him. We must kill him boldly, not viciously, so that we may be perceived as purging the state rather than as murderers. I still fear Antony. I really do think we should kill him. Cassius, he will be rendered harmless once Caesar is dead. But no one knows whether Caesar will come to the Senate tomorrow or not. We'll get him there. We must be like actors to hide our true intentions. Let's go. Caesar wants. But Stesius, Caesar, why aren't you at the Senate? Caesar does what he wants. What am I supposed to tell the Senate? You know, I heard they were going to give me the crown today. Well, just tell them that I will not be there. And just between you and me, my wife Calpurnia, she had a ominous dream. And in it, a group of people were bathing their hands in a fountain full of my blood. And it seems pretty ominous. Ominous? That signifies wealth. So now you're going to go listen to a woman. Way to be a man. How lowly your dreams seem now. You know what? I'm going to go to the Senate. Let's go to the Senate. No! No! Go ahead, take your time.
Big Mac. I need a double cheeseburger and hold the Big lettuce. Mac. Don't be fun, son, no speed, on the bone we be up in this drive through Order for two, I got a craving for a number nine, like my shoe, we need some chicken up in here. In this sizzle, or is it my mizzle? Extra salt on the frizzle, like a pepper, my brother. Another for your mother, double, double, super size, and don't forget the fries. That's about it. Get that? Got it. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Caesar, allow my brother Publius to come back to Rome. No, he was legally banished. Please, please, please let him come back. No, I, I'm not going to change my mind. I'm as, as constant as the North Star. Two, Brute! That ball, Caesar. Caesar's dead! Great yeah. Caesar, he's dead! High five! Freedom! Yeah. I'm a servant of Antony's. He sends his love to Caesar. He pledges to Brutus as long as he forgives for his friendship for Caesar. I forgive him. Tell him to come here. All right. Oh, great Caesar! How can a man so powerful die like this? I wish he could die beside you. Don't say that, Antony. We killed him for our love of Rome. He was ambitious. He would have brought tyranny to this great state. We have to calm the public. Wait till then. Then all will be explained. I trust you. Shake my hand. What shall I do? You would think I'm a coward just siding with the winner. I did love Caesar. Don't hate me for being friends with your enemy. I can cry as much as you've bled. Pardon me, you brave men. Here your murderers stand, with your blood all over their hands. Poor soul. Anthony? What? That's what the public's gonna think. Are you on our side? I am. But why did you kill him? Was he so evil? Our reasons are so great. You'll be satisfied. Let me speak at the funeral. Okay. Can I talk to you? Sure. Anthony's gonna turn the public against us. Okay. I'll speak first. Antony, go get Caesar's body. I'm sorry, Caesar, for acting like that. I will make them pay. By the time I'm done, Rome will be in chaos. Plebeians, listen! I did not kill Caesar because I did not love him. I killed Caesar because my love for Rome outweighed my love for a single man. Caesar was great, but he was also ambitious. This is why I slew him. I fear that all the Romans will live as slaves under his leadership. Do any disagree? Good. Then his death has been accounted for. Please, listen to my friend Mark Antony's speech. You always remember the bad things that men did, but never the good things. Caesar was a good man. Unlike Brutus, who thinks he was ambitious. He did many great things for Rome. So side with me and let's go kill the conspirators. Here is his will. He gives you his orchards. Let's go get the conspirators. Let's go to the Senate. <laughs>